Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not working. That's not working out. Yeah, the sunlight's not quite the great spot. Oh. I gotta use my tripod, man. Yeah, I've been doing this freehand for maybe like a half hour now. Now, has it been really been a half hour? I don't know. I lost track of count. Let me scoot up a little bit. Oh. I need to scoot up a little bit so that I can get better lighting. Okay, there we go. Okay. There we go. I don't know if that's going to help a little bit. Let me see if that helps. No, not really. Looks a little shadowy. Hmm. Well, it's about as good as I'm going to get it. But the good thing is that this is a little bit clear. Yeah, this great blue heron is preening, I think. Yeah. It's like... It's like buried in his wings. Wait a minute, why is this... What's this great blue heron doing? He's not even moving. Like, his head is like... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering. Okay. Okay, so one of the ebuses or the, the egret flu. Okay. I can still see the Inhinga right here. Okay, good. Yeah, I wish I had a better camera or something. The Nikon P1000 does have its limitations. And this is one of the limitations. I just can't seem to get perfect lighting on this. Even though it's a clear day, there's not a single cloud in the sky, the lighting has an effect on the position of this, where the sun is. So the sun is actually, I can't, I, I don't want to turn my camera towards the sun because it could damage the lens. But it's right I know you can't see my finger very well, but to the left, it's like, how many degrees east, west, I don't know, west, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he's no longer sunbathing. He slowly but surely putting his wings down. Yep. Now what's gonna happen? I wonder. Hmm. Oh, he's stretching. He's stretching his wings. Stretching. Does that mean he's going to fly? Is that what that means? Okay, 
I'm gonna have to hit the record button in 10 more seconds.